Okay. You have to, I'll show you how to throw a great party where you get presents, too. Oh, boy. <laughs> I had but, a shrink who used to say, uh, just find someone who's pleasant to be with. And then she got Alzheimer's, but still. <laughs> She used to say that. Just right. find someone right. who's pleasant yeah. to be with. But then, then you find them. Yeah. yeah. And then what happens when it doesn't work out? Well, there's a new book called Dump Them. <laughs> you think I'm lying. <laughs> How to break up with anyone from your best friend to your hairdresser. It's a guide to getting the people out of your life that you want out, and it's, right. ri it's written by our friend Sarah Silverman's sister, Jodine Spire. So how do you guys handle it when you want someone to go away? Well, you know what's happening now, too, is more than ever, people aren't doing it face-to-face. -face. And sometimes people would leave a message on a voicemail. Now right. they'll just see their text or they'll post it on their Facebook page or their MySpace. <laughs> do you remember, didn't a woman divorce? Wasn't there a listing where a woman divorced her husband, like, through Craigslist or something yeah. weird? Like, people right. are using it. You know what's Sly Stallone methods. broke up with his wife. Remember, he Federal expressed her letter, breaking up with her, Jennifer Flavin, but they ended up getting married after that. That exit. She was how well that went. <laughs> I like the idea, frankly, of just texting someone, of this long conversations, and it's not me, it's not you, it's me. No, it's you. <laughs> and this whole thing of this long well, interaction. You, like you, you got to do it. If someone person. sends me an email and says it's over, I'm happy. I don't want to talk about it. I'm glad to hear it. Clear, and that's it. But it's you over. don't want to personally uh, do Because say that, anything? why? He's going to tell me things that are wrong with me then. Better to have a nice, <laughs> succinct message. Right. You want to I agree. Yeah. They say, well, why? But do you really want to know why? You don't really you don't want, want to know. know. But that's my problem. I feel like I need to call you. And it, but I get into sure. these long explanations of, you know, it could have worked See, out, and I'm so sorry. I would rather do it face to face so that the next time I see you, I'm not ducking you. Yeah. Right. I don't have to be uncomfortable. It's like, if this is not working, I'm OK with it. Because I really what I want is I want a happy relationship. Yeah. I don't want somebody who's miserable and then looking at me like they're waiting for me to do it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? If I if it's time to go, I say it's time. Say? I say I say that I have to. I can't do this anymore. Well, women have a hard time breaking, not just in like a, an emotional mm -hmm. or sexual relationship, but even right down to their hairdresser mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. you know like if they have to kind of make splits there. It's not. It's not always easy I to do that. I was dating a guy who looked like Frank Perdue, you know, the, the, <laughs> the chicken guy. Right. And when she broke up with him, she just emailed him and she said, Adieu, Perdue. <laughs> <laughs> and it was over. <laughs> and she I never love, runs into him. I love that. Adieu, see, Adieu, Adieu Perdue. I would have seen that. I would have sent a thing that said, Buck, 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 buck. <laughs> That's another way to do it. Yeah. with more insanity right here.